Hello, collective. Welcome back to the channel. This is your intuitively awakened star seed here with a message for the collective divine feminine, divine masculine. Welcome. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by. This is going to be an intuitive message, an intuitive love message for the collective, you guys. So please remember to take only what resonates and leave the rest. This is going to be a reading for all signs, okay? So you guys always use your discernment. Thank you guys so, so much, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, for all of your support, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I am sending you love, light, gratitude, Palo Santos, yes. I'm sending you guys all the love and gratitude. Thank you so, so much for joining me on this journey of love and enlightenment. I appreciate you guys so, so much. We're going to go ahead and tap in here. Take a look at the energy surrounding your connection, surrounding whomever you are connected with. So let me put it that way, right? Because this could definitely be a no contact situation for someone. So we're going to definitely take a closer look and see what is going on here for the collective. Okay. And we're also going to take a look at this person's intentions, right? There is definitely some energy going on here. I feel like this person has a very, I'm pick, picking up on mystical, magical energy with regards to this person, whomever this is, divine feminine, divine masculine. There is a lot of attraction, but it's like I'm picking up on someone's intuition, right? Someone is very intuitive here. I could definitely could be speaking to a light worker, a star seed, chosen one, ascendant master, right? Um, but definitely picking up on someone is very intuitive. It's like you've been thinking about this person, right? Trying to figure out why you're thinking about this person, but we're going to take a closer look because I'm definitely getting a lot of energy um, for this reading. So please remember to take only what resonates with you, what does not please leave it. All energy is fluid. It can be for your past, your present, your future. He, she, him, her. People, places, things, you guys. Let's tap into the who, what, when, where, and why for the collective. Archangel Michael, please protect us during this reading, during this message. Any dark negative energy, please return to sender. What do we have here, you guys? First card out was speed. I'm seeing something happening fast. There's something happening fast here. Okay, truth. Something's about to be revealed fast, unexpectedly with your person. Yeah. You have communication coming in. Unexpected communication coming in from someone. This is someone you're separated from, someone from your past. This is an ex. This is your ex person, okay? Your intuition is kicking in. I'm getting you're getting like intuitive alerts is what I'm getting, right? Your intuition is alerting you. Um, I feel like you're having thoughts of this person, right? But it's not a coincidence, right? You're picking up on some energy, a lot of energy. Queen of Wands, right? Picking up on energy from this person because there's a fast transformation, right? There's something transitioning, something transpiring fast with regards to this person. Ten of Pentacles. There's a lot of value here. This person, I feel like, wants to communicate something to do. There's something of value or this person sees your value. I'm seeing Taurus energy here, Sagittarius energy. Okay? Huh. This is someone I'm picking up on Scorpio energy as well. There, this is someone they want to communicate a truth, their truth. There's going to be truth revealed and it's a value. So it's going to be valuable to you to know this or to hear this from this person. This could be a game changer, right? Ten of Pentacles. Look at this. 
Sagittarius energy. Again, I'm getting heavy Sagittarius energy. I'm also getting that Scorpio energy showing up here. Angel number 1010 can be very significant to you, Divine Feminine. Mm-hmm. Angel number 1010, because I'm picking up on that transformative energy. Somebody is brokenhearted. Someone is brokenhearted. This could be surrounding this shift with this person, or this could be this person that's brokenhearted. And it's a very difficult for this person to be in separation from you. As I'm picking up on, again, a fast transit, something trans transitioning fast, right? Yes, this person taking action, and this could be because of this broken heart. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. There's a truth they want. And this is going to come as a surprise to you. But I, your intuition is picking up on this person. This is why you're having thoughts of this ex, right? This is someone that you're in separation from. You could have been in separation from them for an extended period of time, Divine Feminine. But there's definitely, this is not a coincidence, okay? This is someone that is, I feel like, has a very... They're a strong manifester. This is someone that has, this is a divine masculine and they have spiritual gifts. And I feel like you're picking up on those, right? That's what you're picking up on. Something's going on. Magical, mystical energy. I keep picking up on that, right? And there's something, something with your social media, something to do with your posts or your stories. This person seeing your posts or stories or reading them or you're seeing this right or it's your intuition could be telling you it's time to take a closer look because this is someone from your past this is an ex but they're closer than you realize right this is a person that you feel like it's completely over it's severed it's in your past this person is still very much in your energy and could be physically close to you. And what I mean by that is this person could definitely be watching you, not only on social media. And I'm not getting creepy vibes, but I am getting that this person may be going out of their way. Yeah. This is someone that is disappointed. They're hurt over being separated from you. This person's been harboring these feelings for a long time. They've been holding on to wanting to communicate their true feelings. There's something about this person. It's like things appeared one way. They want to set the record straight, right? Because I feel like there were a lot of illusions surrounding this person. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. I told you. It's time to hone in on your intuition, Divine Feminine. There is messages, there's signs and synchronicity surrounding you concerning this person, concerning this past union, and it's time to take a second look, go deeper into your intuition. That's what I'm getting, a strong intuitive alert for you, Divine Feminine. Yes, you're you're receiving alerts. Um This is someone that you once cared very deeply about, and I feel like you've tried to heal from this connection, right? But this person seems to be popping back up in your thoughts, right? This is, this. I'm telling you, this is no coincidence. This person is still in love with you, and they find you very attractive. This person watches you from somewhere or something, right? Somehow this person has... They see, they can see you. 
this person is very intuitive as well. They have a lot of spiritual gifts is what I'm getting. They're very intuitive. Scorpio energy, again, somebody could be a Scorpio here. Mm -hmm. Or have Scorpio in their chart. Make sure you're checking your chart, your birth chart, your natal charts, things like that. Because this person, there is definitely, hang on, you guys, I always, there we go. Yeah, this is like, this person is, they see you though. They can see you, they watch you. So you may have some type of platform or you may post a lot online. You may work with the public. But this person is, is what they watch you. That's what I'm getting. Or they're able to see you like they find you very attractive. That's heavy energy on that, right? This person is very like physically attracted to you. Yeah. Heavy physical attraction, right? Mm, broken hearted over what they've lost. This person watches you and I feel like in, in regret as well over what they've lost. This person really messed up with you in the past. So I feel like you're maybe wondering like after what this person did to you, divine feminine, why are you thinking about this person? There's a connection here. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Thank you. A new perspective. This person wants to bring a truth to you. This is someone that wants to clear the air, right? Well, I don't know why I'm hearing like the deck was stacked against this person when you guys were in union. This person wants to clear the air with you. I'm seeing having like seeing things from a new perspective, tapping into your higher self, or this person wants you to see them. Some, it's like this person has something to prove to you. Ace of Pentacles. An abundant new beginning. And that's clarifying that Ten of Pentacles. I don't know why I'm picking up. It's like there is something that this person wants to communicate to you. You're in Queen of Swords energy. You don't want to hear nothing from this person. Mm -mm. I'm getting cold energy from you. I'm seeing a lot of heartbreak in the past. Mm-hmm. Just the way these cards are placed, right? This person feels like if they can talk to you again, you'll see things from a new perspective. You're cold to this person. Woo. Heavy on that energy. Ciao. But your intuition's kicking in. This person's working overtime, trying to figure out a way to get your attention or to get back into your energy spirit. Please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Please give us more. What is this? Hermit mode. Mm. Something to do about solitude and isolation here. You, know, This person really, I feel like this person did change your outlook once you were with them or coming out of this separation. It's like this person changed your outlook. You had, it's like you had to go in the solitude, like to just rebuild yourself and to, re to heal. Oh, this person sees what they lost. Divine feminine major transformation. Okay. Seven of Wands. Protected connection. Protected. I'm hearing protected. Your intuition's kicking in. High Priestess card. And you're being guided to take a second look. Like, I'm really feeling your emotions. Divine Feminine. I feel like you're... you're Oh, you're still angry with this person.
for how they mishandled you. You still have, you're, you still are very angry with this person. You have all types of guards up. It took you a long time. I'm getting to move beyond this connection. You knew this was your divine counterpart and they like really, you knew there was a special connection. You understood the assignment and this person really, I'm getting, did you dirty or something like that? And it's like, I'm seeing protect, it's a protected connection, but you're also, there's like, oh, you mad mad at this person. Divine Feminine. High Priestess card is guiding you to read between the lines, tap in, and take a second look. Divine Feminine. There's still a connection here because you're still angry. Oh, shoot. Hmm. If there was no connection, I wouldn't pick up on you feeling these emotions at all. Oh. Happily ever after. This is no coincidence. You're being guided back to this person choices. Why is the seven of cups here? We go Scorpio. Why is the seven of cups here? Spirit, why is the seven of cups here? person played in your face. The unforgivable. Their choices destroyed everything. It was their choices. They played in a divine feminine's face. It was true love. You truly love this person. You showed them that true, unconditional love. This person played. Three of Cups, shadow side of the Three of Cups, third party situation, right? This person's on, they're out in the cold. They're on the outside looking in. This person's been in hermit mode. I feel like you were in hermit mode as well. Wow. plans. This person doesn't know how to face you. Very strong emotions. This person played in your face, but they were in love with you. Spare, please give us more. This person played in your face. But they loved you. I'm get. Oh. And they want to bring a love offer towards you. There's no competition. This person made you feel like you were in competition. There was no stability. This person was all over the place. I'm seeing stability now. This person wants to show you. That they're that person that you thought they were in the past or that you expected them to be. So they want to show you that they're that person that you deserve. Divine Feminine. You, they never had someone like you. Well, you're their divine counterpart is what I'm getting. This is, wow. This person is closer than you know, is what I'm getting. Spirit, please give us more. 
afraid you won't accept their love offer. You're picking up on this person because this person wants to contact you. This person is thinking about you heavily. They're fantasizing about you. They're reflecting. They have been, I feel like, maybe riding past your home in your energy. Like, very close is what I'm getting. And that's why you're heavily thinking about them. They're also thinking about you in intimate times. Please read between the lines. This is someone that is a master manifester and very... They have mystical, magical energy. I keep picking up on that. And that's what you're picking up on, Divine Feminine, because you are a Divine Feminine, right? I'm hearing Ascended Master, right? So there's like a lot of... Color orange. Something to do with the color orange. I'm seeing it in these shoes and it's standing out to me. The orange hue and the sky. This could be significant for this person. But it's like on this card, the hue, the, the hue of the sky is orange. And something to do with the orange color in their shoes. They could wear tennis shoes or something like that something to do with the color orange though it's definitely standing out to me i'm being called to that right spare please give us more for the collective divine feminine divine masculine please give us more for the collective whoa devil card Toxic, low vibrational energy in the past, right? Controlling, manipulative, lying, trickster type of energy. This divine masculine regrets this. Look at these cards coming out. This divine masculine thinks about you and they regret messing up with you and fumbling you, mishandling you. And then they're fantasizing about you, romanticizing, right? Who? Look at this. Look at this energy. Come through, spirit. This is what's hidden. This is someone that I feel like you would least expect that would even be thinking about you. When this person was in your energy, divine feminine, it appeared that they did not care. I'm getting poker face, very nonchalant type of energy with regards to you and your connection. This person loves you. They see you as the empress. They see you as the empress. Once this divine masculine, when they were fragmented and distorted divine feminine, once this divine masculine seen that you had fallen for them, right? They played in your face. They thought they had you locked in. They were playing these manipulative games. Now they've realized you've seen through it, right? You weren't there to play games. You understood the assignment. You realized you were there on assignment. This was your divine counterpart, right? You were in the energy of unconditional love. And this divine masculine was in the energy of unconditional love. And then they switched. That's what I'm getting. See, you guys were in frequency. This was an eternal and infinite love that you guys shared. You see that? Eternal and infinite love. This divine masculine was changing. Queen of Pentacles. You're very independent, but also very nurturing is what I'm getting. A lot of loving, healing energy with you, right? Leo energy on the board. Somebody could be a Leo, but your energy is something that they had never experienced. And when you actually started loving on them and showing them unconditional love, that healing, loving, nurturing energy, you guys were getting into rhythm. It was like, you know, 
what you want to eat today, babe, type of energy, right? You hungry? Did you eat? Yeah, like you guys were locked in. And then this divine masculine started feeling themselves falling. And like they felt as though they were losing themselves. They acted a complete fool. But also, too, it's like they actually, they felt like they had you, right? So this was, they were fragmented, right? So they didn't realize that you were mirroring each other. You were mirroring each other's energy. So when this divine masculine began to shift and went operating out of ego, not unconditional love, once they stopped operating out of unconditional love and went into ego, then it began to mirror. And that's where the conflict happened. But they ended up playing in your face. There's a third party energy here. That's the unthinkable, right? That's what they did. They see you, Queen of Pentacles. That's what's hidden. That's what your intuition is picking up on. They see you going through your day-to-day -day life. They see you living your life. They feel like you're living your best life without them. They want to bring a love offer back into, back to you, right? This divine masculine wants to offer their love. But guess what? They're embarrassed and ashamed. Because what they brought to you, you don't bring that to a divine feminine. That was That's that low vibrational codependent energy, right? And it diminished. I'm getting it diminished things, right? They self-sabotaged. Wow. They caused the chaos and conflict. You guys were no longer in frequency. You guys were no longer in frequency, so it was backfiring. This was because of their insecurities, right? They were very insecure in your energy, and they tried to use manipulation that worked on lower vibrational energies, and it didn't work on you because you don't play with the divine feminine. Divine feminine comes with true and unconditional love. The, the intentions are always real. With the divine feminine, there's no games. Divine Feminine does not operate in games. Pisces energy on the board. Your intuition's picking up. Because this Divine Masculine is heavy in your energy. And they are a Divine Masculine because there's been an awakening. And Source, I'm getting the universe is guiding this divine masculine back towards you. You guys are coming back into frequency because this divine masculine is in their divine energy. And this is your divine counterpart. And now the thing is, with divine counterparts and twin flame connections, you guys, you always come back to each other, but you may not come back as a romantic partner. It could be friend zone. This divine masculine has this deep knowing, heavily manifesting you. You could be remembering intimate times with this divine masculine. This divine masculine is working their magic behind the scenes. I just heard they may not be working by themselves either. Mm -hmm. They could be seeking wise counsel. They could be seeking wise counsel at this time. King of Swords. King of Swords energy, okay? Very serious. This Divine Masculine wanted this future with you. They weren't ready. They were acting out of ego, trying to control the situation. This Divine Masculine tried to make you jealous. I feel like it was the energy like this Divine Masculine kept pushing things, pushing things, right? Trying to make you jealous, like trying to get you to be in competition. And then ultimately, this Divine Masculine did the unthinkable. And now they found themselves out in the cold because that hurt you. Uh-huh. 
That hurts you. I'm seeing a third party. Oh. I don't know why I get this third party new about you, too. I don't know why that's significant. I just got that. This third party new about you. That's significant for someone. I'm getting some energy on this third party. And why they knew you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You, For some of you guys, you could have been betrayed by multiple people. This, this third party could have been somebody that was close to you at one time. That's for some of you guys, not all of you guys. Whoa. Page of Wands. This divine masculine was fragmented. They had no self-control. I feel like at the time when you were in union with this divine masculine, they were um, so fragmented. They didn't even care about themselves. This divine masculine couldn't even see past today or tomorrow when they were with you, right? Wow. They didn't have the strength to maintain this union with you, let alone to maintain an awakening to what you were guiding them towards, right? Chow. Four wands. They wanted you. They wanted a future with you. They couldn't maintain it at the time. Chow. What else we got, spirit? Ace of Cups. This is hard. Twin flame energies. These twin flame connections are not always easy. This is hard. I'm picking up on this. Divine feminine. You keep thinking about this person because you're being guided back to this person. This is your divine counterpart. This person... I'm seeing cup of love, right? I'm seeing a cup of love. This person is very attracted to you. They watch you. They admire you. It's almost like this person can't believe that they actually were with you. You, They actually had someone like you, right? Yeah, they can't believe it. Like when they spy on you, when they watch you and that unconditional love. But it's like also too... There's still a bit of, I'm getting, it's like this divine masculine can't handle you being with someone else. But I feel like divine feminine, you could be someone that's been single, like, or just, you know, doing you. So you have no intentions of, I feel like, I feel like this union could have definitely thrown you for a loop, right? But you're being guided back to this. And it's like. I'm getting free will is at play, divine feminine. Free will is at play. This divine masculine loved you then and they still love you now. I'm seeing growth, but I'm picking up on a lot. Of, I, you still care to some degree, divine feminine, because the anger is there. Because I'm not getting that you just are like, don't feel anything. There's a lot of feelings here, but it's not... I don't feel like you're open. Spirit, please give us more. Because of that trickery and deceit. Once that trust is broken, that's very hard to get back. Uh-huh. And this divine masculine wants back. They want that unconditional love. They want that cup of love, right? That trickery, deceit. Aquarius energy is showing up here as well. You could be an Aquarius. Your person could be an Aquarius. Ooh. You know, it's like... Also, with that Aquarius energy, Aquarius can mean karma as well. Aquarius is associated with karma. Somebody could definitely be an Aquarius here. I'm seeing enlightened energy. Yeah. Sun card. Spirit, please give us more. You've seen the trickery and deceit. You've seen, the, you've seen what this person was capable of doing and the hurt that it caused you. Child, spirit, please give us more. This person's been doing a lot of work on themselves. I see that. They want their position back with you. Mm -hmm. Spirit, 
Spirit, please give us more. Whoo! Queen of Swords. There's an attachment here. You guys are still attached. This is a supernatural, you know, this is beneath the surface level, right? Mm-hmm. This is this goes beyond the surface level, beyond the superficial. This is a supernatural connection. There's still an attachment here. This person I'm getting is still attached to you, Divine Feminine, and I feel you're still attached to them, right? But again, free will is at play. Why am I getting out Aquarius energy? Because Aquarius is see that Aquarius energy. See, I'm seeing the two of swords. And then I'm seeing the Queen of Swords, and then I'm seeing the Four of Pentacles, right? This is, you know, I feel like this Divine Masculine thought maybe you were in the energy of playing hard to get. I'm getting that heavy Aquarius energy. Aqu <laughs> Aquarius will burn a bridge down while they standing on it. If you on that bridge, like... Somebody either got Aquarius in their chart or they're in that energy. Very cold, right? Because like when I'm looking at this two of swords and the queen of swords, I'm seeing that cold energy. So two of swords is the bi masculine doing a lot of work, doing a lot of introspection, getting into their selves. Right. And I'm see figuring out where they went wrong, working on those core wounds and things like that. But the way this queen of swords is, is sitting here, it's like queen of swords. And it's upright. Queen of swords is upright. This is not toxic. This is not games. Queen of Swords is like, that's nice. You got yourself together. Oh, you still attached? That's good too. But that's on you. So this Divine Masculine has never been with someone I'm getting that stood on business like you, Divine Feminine. And again, Aquarius energy is associated with karma and I feel like that's why that Aquarius energy has the ability to detach so quickly or that th their soul's mission would be so, so painful, right? Because karma comes through. Those Aquarius signs. So somebody could be an Aquarius, have Aquarius in their chart, or you could just be in that energy. Whew. Spirit, please give us more. For the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine, please give us more for the collective. Mm hmm. And it's like this divine masculine, there's like they're doing, putting in like so much work, right? To have this union, to see where they went wrong, to see what they could fix. And this divine masculine has made adjustments I'm getting in their life. But it's like that queen of swords. I don't know if this is my masculine. I feel like they know that you're cold towards them. But I don't know if they realize the damage they've done. Mm, wow. Wow. Hang on. Let me grab that card. Look at the energy in this reading. Ooh. Chariot card. Cancer energy. This is someone that wants to take action coming towards you. What's this card? Oh, boy. <laughs> See, I'm getting like this person wants to take action to come towards you. They want that unconditional love. I'm seeing Pisces energy on the board. Deeply in love with you. Look, Phoenix rising from the ashes if you want it. Divine feminine, the ball is in your court if you want it. See, this is what I'm getting. Your intuition is picking up on this, right? Hmm. This divine masculine is going to, they want to reveal this truth, right? It's like, there's a caveat here, something because I'm seeing with, it's like this is going back and forth here because with the High Priestess card, I'm getting, taking a second look, reading in between the lines. There was something more to this situation, right? 
And I feel like this divine masculine wants to give confirmation. But I feel like this divine masculine did things, the unthinkable, right? But then there's also, this divine masculine wants to clear the air. Oh, and why am I seeing Phoenix rising from the ashes? Again, there's emotions here. But divine feminine, I feel like you're in the energy. Like, how can I love this person that did this to me, right? It's like simultaneous love and revulsion at this time, right? Oh, spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Judgment. The time is now. This divine masculine realizes. Because guess what? Divine feminine, you got options. We already seen the seven of cups. Oh, We got a tower moment, tower card, and the emperor. Ooh, divine feminine. Spirit, please give us more for the collective emperor energy because this is growth. This divine masculine has grown. They've... Whew. What they did that caused this tower moment. I'm seeing growth, Aries energy here. This divine masculine ascended, being in a different energy, right? Spirit wants you to see beneath the surface and realize this. I just heard like the flesh is weak. Look at the spirit. Look at the spiritual connection. Because it's separate. Spirit, please give us more. There's a separation here. This divine masculine wants you to see their growth. After this tower moment, they have grown. There's been a shift. Spirit, please give us more. Mm. This is what y'all, y'all picking up on this, right? I told you this was this divine masculine's manifesting you. That's what I'm picking up on. There's a magician card, a master manifester here, right? This divine masculine is manifesting you. That's what your thoughts of this ex, right? Your thoughts of this ex are no coincidence, right? This person, this divine masculine, this is no coincidence, right? You're this is an intuitive alert. Your int intuition is kicking in. And it's kicking in so strong because this is your divine counterpart. There's a deep soul connection. There's a connection, a supernatural connection between you guys, right? Because I feel like you pick up on things. You see the signs and synchronicities in your day-to-day -day life. You're a divine feminine, a light worker, right? You're, you're an ascended master. You're very tapped in. You see the signs and synchronicities. I feel like with this one, though, with this divine masculine, it's like they really got you. Woo. There's strong energy between you guys, though, because, again, divine feminine. I'm getting you. The anger that you're feeling is definitely a sign that there is still a connection here. Uh-huh. Or you wouldn't feel anything. Whoa. Okay. Why is these cards doing this? Oh. I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune. And the Death card. Remember I was saying heavy transformative energy. Angel number 1010 showing up. This person, there's something has come to an end and a new beginning. That's what the Death card is. Right? So transitioning, right? Wheel of Fortune. Very good karma. Past life connection. This person's been doing a lot of work. Look at this. Eight of Pentacles. And they want to rebuild. They want to reconcile with you, right? Somebody here is a seer. You're a seer. <clears throat> Why did I just hear wing seer? 
Someone is, I'm hearing wise counsel, psychic, right? And again, this divine masculine, there is heavy, magical, mystical energy here. And we got the magician card, heavy manifestation, right? This divine masculine could be seeking wise counsel, right? Getting readings, spiritual guidance, very intuitive energy here, right? Ooh. Y'all. Page of Swords, spying. See? See? Heavily watching you. Discernment. Spirit, please give us more. Allow your intuition to guide you, Divine Feminine. What is this? Tapping into your intuition, tapping into that feeling. I'm getting meditation, like really getting into your, your intuition. I'm seeing here they're spying on you. Something to do with a new beginning. This could be because they want a new beginning. What else we got, Spirit? They're worried that you're having a romantic new beginning with someone else. And this person wants a romantic new beginning with you. Gemini energy on the board. Gemini energy on the board. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Spying on you. There could be someone else that's in your energy as well. <laughs> Whoever this was, this third party, I just got that energy again. It's really, it, it's irritating that there's something, this divine masculine wants to reveal something about whoever this third party was, there's something surrounding that third party situation as well. There's a cycle beginning. There's a new cycle starting. You're the yin to this divine masculine, Yang. Okay? I'm seeing yin and yang, right? This is a very... Um, There's a close connection here, right? Balanced is what I'm getting. Communication. They're in their head. Overthinking, overanalyzing, coming towards you, Divine Feminine. They're in their head. Wait a minute. Okay, Hierophant card. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm seeing somebody could have a proposal coming from this person. Is it too late? Mm. This person wants to take things to the next level. They want to confess their love to you and they want to take things to the next level. And I'm getting from the very beginning of this reading, it was speed, right? So things are moving quick. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Deep spiritual knowing, understanding this connection. They're coming to harvest. This person is close. They're coming towards you. They want to harvest this divine union. Two of Cups. This person's never detached from you. I'm seeing that this is a divine union. Now I'm seeing heavy Taurus energy. Mm-hmm. I'm getting heavy Taurus energy here, but I'm seeing here, this person is going to, this person's trying to get back in your energy, but they want to move fast. We've seen that eight of wands from the very beginning of the reading, right? This person wants to move fast is what I'm getting. See? See? They want to get back on track with you. Spirit, please give us more. Please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Two of pentacles. Why is the two of pentacles here? The 
Three of Wands. Aries energy. Please give us more for the collective. Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Two of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Capricorn, Aries, Taurus. I'm seeing travel. For some of you guys, this could be, I'm seeing air travel. I'm seeing sea travel. I'm seeing someone taking action. This could be traveling. This could be someone that lives overseas. Or there's going to be travel overseas. There's something like that. But also, this person has turned their back on something right? Someone's out in the cold. They severed ties with someone. They were juggling. They were back and forth in between something. They were back and forth in between something. I'm seeing that yin and yang energy. They're now in balance with you. They found balance. They found the one that they truly care for. There was another energy. There could have been multiple energies in this person's life. This person was a player. Non-committal. This person is coming towards you. It's you. You're the one. What? Yin and yang energy, right? And something to do with travel. This person, for some of you guys, hmm, there's something to do with overseas. Somebody could live a distance away. Something like that. But they're tur they've turned their back on someone. Someone's out in the cold now, right? Spirit, please give us more. That's for some of you guys, not all of you guys now. That travel, because I'm seeing airplane. I'm seeing this ocean. I'm seeing boats. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. The Ten of Swords. Difficult ending. Trying to make a comeback from this difficult ending. This person is like, can't be without you or something like that much longer. This person's never detached from you. You walked away. It was difficult for this person, but they still loved you. King of Cups, come through spirit. This person's in love with you, was always in love with you, and never stopped loving you. This person's infatuated with you. This person is, some, and I'm picking up on this, right? Like, there's something that this person dresses a certain way. They make a very nice appearance. You guys attracted attention when you guys were together. Yeah, Spirit, please give us more. Ooh, okay, thank you. I'm seeing a victory. This person was definitely operating out of their ego. I feel like this is someone also that... I don't want to say conceited, but this person definitely holds themselves in high value, right? I mean, as you should, right? A lot of self-work, right? But I see that they see you as, you know, it's like a lot of self-love here. I'm seeing celebration. I'm seeing it's like them coming into unconditional love, right? But everyone's not happy about this either, right? There's some jealous energy surrounding this connection. Remember I said this person has turned their back on someone? Someone's out in the cold. They were juggling before, but now this person sees that you are the yin to their yang, right? So I'm seeing balanced energy. Look at this. Nine of Cups. So you're their wish fulfillment. And there's a message that they feel like is very valuable. This person does want to communicate with you. They want to reconcile. They want to end the separation. They want to break no contact. And there's something they want to tell you that they feel is of value, right? I feel like it's something to do with this third party situation. There's something surrounding that, right? This person, ooh. 
Four of Swords. This person has been, I feel like, heartbroken. I've seen that earlier. The Three of Wands, heartbroken. This is why you're picking up on this person's energy. It's like everything is revolving around you and their world at this current moment. And it's like, also, this person has been closer. I'm getting telepathic communication. You could be picking up on telepathic communication as well. Right? This person... Because they're in their divine energy, divine feminine. Yeah, I feel like there is someone that's very jealous. That this person has come towards you or has turned their back. There's something messy going on with this third party energy. This third party knew about you. This is someone I feel like that you know for some of you guys. Look at this. Wounded soldier coming home. Nine of wands putting in the work. Trying to get back on the right page with you. Look at this. Page of cups. Small love offer. A small love offer. Page of cups. What else we got spirit? Breaking no contact. Six of swords. Aquarius energy. King of wands. See? This is someone that definitely wants to... Ho, ho, ho. Heavy attraction. Heavy on the physical attraction. Got the Ace of Wands here. And then I'm seeing the Six of Pentacles. So they want to show you that they can treat you the way that you deserve to be treated then and now. Yeah. And it's like this person wants to reveal this to you. I'm getting like a love confession. This person wants to confess their love for you is what I'm getting, Divine Feminine. Yeah. Yeah. You mad with them now. That's, that's ooh. Cause I'm getting that unthinkable energy, right? It's like the unthinkable. They mm, they took it too far with that insecure energy, right? They didn't have to do that, right? They already had you. You were already locked in. And the minute they found out that you were locked in, they felt as though they had to do things out of ego to control this so you would never leave. And they already had you. This is a soul agreement, a soul contract. You were already locked in. Now this divine masculine, I feel like this is someone that you've worked on healing from, right? Trying to put closure towards this. And you keep thinking about them, right? But it's no coincidence. These, the th your thoughts of this ex are no coincidence. Uh-uh. Child. They, they heavy on the trying to come back towards you. That's what you're picking up on, right? And that this person has been closer. So this could be someone that, you know, maybe this person lives at a distance from you, right? Maybe this person lives overseas and maybe they're closer now, you know, or they live at a distance. You're picking up on their energy, right? Child, there's a lot going on. But one thing for certain, two things for sure. Look, I'm seeing that. That's what this person wants. They're coming back to harvest their divine feminine. Or trying to figure out a way how that spying energy. Look at that. Spying and moving fast with that eight of wands, right? Yeah. They want a new beginning with you. And somebody's out in the cold. They've turned their back on somebody, y'all. Yes, they have. They have turned their back on somebody. Mm. Woo, child. And this person is manifesting you. Ooh. Spirit, please give us more. Let's get some oracle cards here, y'all. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. This person is consumed. Mm-hmm. Consumed with thoughts of you. Focused on you. They were on that lone path. They had to go on this path, this journey of enlightenment and awakening. And being separated from you has been an awakening in itself. 
Yes. Ooh. What else we got, Spirit? Mm. They're not giving up. They want to fight for this connection. They're not giving up, I'm seeing here. This person's relentless. This person is relentless, and I feel like this person wants you to yell at them or whatever. Just like say, just any attention is good attention. And I feel like this, this divine masculine knows you're going to curse them out. It's like they want you to, like they just want you to get it all out, right? They feel like that's a blockage. Mm. Their vision was clouded. Something to do. Remember I said there's something they, they want to clear the air concerning what took place in the past between you guys. Ooh. Chow. Fluttering heart. Passion leads you to the love you desire. Spirit, please give us more. I'm seeing love is a choice. The ball is in your court. I keep getting that, right? Mm-hmm. What else we got, Spirit? Believing in the safety of your return. This, what? This journey is leading back to comfort and happiness is what I'm getting. <sighs> Frozen heart, you cold. Mm. Mm. Em empathy and warmth melts barriers for a true connection. This divine masculine is ready to put in the work. They ready to put in the work. I'm seeing here. See, remember I said seeking wise counsel. This divine masculine realizes that they needed help, right? I'm seeing seeking advice to steer them or guide them during this time of judgment. Because the time is now is what I'm getting, right? Chaotic clarity. They want to clear the air. Yup. Amidst confusion and incense crisis, seek the light of understanding and resolve. I'm seeing vulnerability. They're hoping, this divine masculine is hoping you'll be open to them, divine feminine. And child, this is not going to be easy for them. But the truth is unveiling. See, there's more to this situation. Oh. It's like you're being guided to hear what this divine masculine has to say. Mm. Cross paths. A mismatch of intentions. Clashing perspectives. A journey misled seeks alignment. See? Clearing the air. Let me read that again for you guys. Cross paths. So it's like your signals were crossed. Something with uh, signals were crossed, right? Some confusion, a mismatch of intentions, clashing perspectives, a journey misled seeks alignment. So it's time. That's what judgment is for. It's time to get back in a line. I'm getting here. Love. There was a disguise there. Something love was disguised, right? But I'm seeing your love. It's like. It's beyond superficial looks. Both of you are very attractive is what I'm getting. But this is a deeper connection. What else we got, Spirit? They walked away from someone, too. It was like the mask came off with someone. And they see you are beyond compare. They tried to have you in competition. Now they see you are beyond compare. Divine Feminine, follow your intuition here. Follow your intuition. Follow your heart. Spirit's advising to hear what this person has to say. But the ball is in your court. Ooh. Mm-hmm. What else we got here? Storms of love. Conflict is an opportunity for growth and change. So I feel like there are some things that you want to get off your chest. And you can definitely... I'm getting... This person, you're picking up on this person's energy because they're coming towards you or they're 
definitely trying to figure out a way to come towards you. And I feel like this person is going to make contact and you're going to be able to use that as an opportunity to get some things off your chest and clear the air with this divine masculine, right? But they're still hanging on to you. I'm getting taming anger, right? So I'm seeing respectfully, right? Respectfully letting them know. I feel like you're going to curse them out. You're going to curse them out. Yeah. Look at this. Divine union. This is your person. And I'm seeing trying to strike a delicate balance. Because this person was wild at heart at one point. Yep. Yep. Messy AF. With a divine feminine. You can't do that, right? But I'm seeing this is the dawn of recovery. So... With each new beginning, embrace the risk as a gateway to healing and renewal. So, follow your intuition. But with each new beginning, embrace risk as a gateway to healing and renewing. The dawn of recovery. Love potion. You got the potion. Uh-huh. You do. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, please give us more for the collective. Mm-hmm. Feelings come and go. Wow. See, this person was off and on. Temporal bonds, right? This person had attachment issues. That's why I was picking up on attachment. So it could have been like avoidant attachment style or something like that. Because of insecurities, fear of abandonment in the past. It's like there was a lot of core wounds, a lot of work that this person had to do. They had to do a lot of introspection, a lot of inner work, right? To get into their divine energy and get into the core of what made them self-sabotage. The best thing that's ever happened to them, which was you, Divine Feminine. Mm. Spirit, please give us more. Let go of lingering disputes and make peace. They want to make peace with you. Wow. I see goodbye. Something you said when you guys separated that definitely stuck with this divine masculine. Heavy and regret about it too. Some petty energy surrounding this causing some turbulence. Oh, so that petty back and forth energy caused you to pull your energy back because of self-preservation. You had to protect yourself. This person's lifestyle and how they were moving. No, you had to pull back. You understood the assignment, but you're like, wait, no, you got to do this without me. That's what I'm seeing here. Heavy turbulence, right? They want to heal this conflict, though, and refresh this romance. So they want this romantic connection. I just heard they're lucky if you're friends with them. Oh, child, what? They see how rare you are. Lightning strikes. Mm-hmm. They see just how rare you are. And I'm seeing that their past left scars and they had to take time to heal themselves, right? Because they kept sabotaging things, but they sabotaged the connection with you, which was so real, Divine Feminine. Remember, I keep seeing that yin and yang energy. Oh, this divine masculine is in deep regret. Unspoken needs, right? Mm. This divine masculine wants you to open your heart to them. They were in a fog. They're hoping for your forgiveness and understanding, divine feminine. Yep. And to rebuild those bridges. Something about bridges keeps coming up, right? So... I feel like the Divine Masculine is hoping that they didn't burn bridges with you, right? And they want to tender those bridges, rebuilding connections with empathy and gentleness and kindness, right? They're hoping for your forgiveness. Wow. I'm getting here amidst uncertainty. Love has the power to rebuild trust and trust is the issue here. And this person wants to put in the work. The ball is in your court, Divine Feminine. This is a deep reading, right? But your intuition, this is a whole intuitive alert, child. Yeah, this person is closer than you think. I'm seeing here your thoughts of this ex. 
are no coincidence, child. I'm leaving this reading here. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by, and I will see you for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love ya. Bye.